Hello everyone, I hope you're well. I'm afraid I have some bad news about our production. With the ongoing COVID cases and current restrictions, we have had to sadly make the decision to postpone the production until next year. I want to thank you all for all of the hard work that you've put in, rehearsing all of your numbers, learning your songs and choreography, and I look forward to putting on the production when we're able to in 2022. That does mean that this week's Seesaw activity is going to be about something a bit new and different. Let's take a look at what your activity will be. This week in Performing Arts, we are going to do a stave spelling game using the, the Classics for Kids website. When you first click on the link, you'll be taken to a website that looks like this. And if we scroll down a little, there's a quick explanation of how different notes are written on our stave. We're going to be exploring the treble clef today, which is a symbol that looks like this. In our musical scale, we use the first seven letters of the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And they are written in order from bottom to top. The easiest way to remember which notes go on which line or space is to use these acronyms. For the lines of the stave, Starting at the bottom, we have the notes E, G, B, D, and F. And we can use this acronym here, every good boy does fine. You may have also heard every good boy deserves fruit, every good boy deserves Fredo Frogs, or every good boy deserves Ferraris. Whichever acronym you prefer to use, as long as you can remember that the order of the notes is E, G, B, D, and F from bottom to top. The spaces of the stave are really easy to remember because they spell out the word face. Face for spaces. F at the bottom, then A, then C, and then E up the top. Try and remember these little acronyms, face for spaces, and every good boy deserves fruit, or every good boy does fine, for the lines. Once you have them memorised, you are ready to play the game. <laughs> on the animation at the beginning to begin playing. As you can see, it is going to spell out a word that is three letters long. To work out what our first letter is, we need to work out whether that note is in a line or a space. Notice the way that this line is traveling right through the middle of the note head. We're looking specifically at the black circle at the bottom. There's a line going right through the middle of it, which means we're going to be using every good boy deserves fruit to work it out. The line that's going through it is the third line of the stave, one, two, three, which means every good boy. Boy begins with the letter B. So we click on B and it fills in our answer. Let's take a look at the next note. I can see that that note head is sitting in a space. It is the top space, the last letter of the word face. F A C E. I click on E. And then my final letter is on a line. I can see the line is going right through the middle of that note and it's line number four. Every good boy deserves. Deserves begins with a D. I click on D and it spells out the word bed. Click on the word next word to move on to the next problem. We have a space, F-A-C-E. We have a line, every good boy. And we have another line, every good boy. And it's spelled out the word ebb. Click on next word to continue. We have uh, line five. Every good boy deserves fruit. F. We have space four. F A C E. And we have another F A C E. It's spelled out the word fee. You can see that up the top it's keeping track of how many words we've done. After you have completed 10 words correctly, there will be a congratulations screen. What you need to do is take a snapshot of that congratulations screen and post it to Seesaw.